here's one of my biggest disappointments I had <clears throat> man there was otter sign all over this this was a huge otter toilet right on that ridge there and uh, so I set it up I put two traps two MB 550s uh, with a bunch of otter lure gland lure crawfish oil and they ain't hit on anything I figured nothing else they'd catch a coon they ain't hit on anything we're out here pulling today's the last day and uh, Hopefully we'll have a good run, good uh, good run to finish the year out and see what we got. All right, so I'm pulling my my coyote sets. You can see, I mean, we got some rain. It's a little bit wet, <clears throat> and you can see, I mean, we're I, I'm in hard red clay, and that's why I, I prefer disposable stakes. Um, I like the the chain stakes and the stakes that you could just pull. Um, but sometimes you have to have a pretty stout puller and um, so I, I like disposable stakes because I like to just be able to I carry my cutters with me and I just cut that sucker right there and run and I don't worry about it um, one caveat to that is you know I want, I want those to be fairly cheap stakes if I'm just leaving them in the ground so that's uh that's a line that I've always tried to walk and that's, I, I really like I'm a big fan of pogos because I, I feel like that's about the cheapest stakes you can find only problem with those is you have to make them yourself and I don't really want to mess with or have time to make them myself so that's why I've been experimenting with like the Berkshires I'm not a fan of the Berkshires um, testing out the uh, um, testing out the wolf fangs and so far they've been pretty good I have to go back and look at the price comparison of those but I'll try to do a, a whole video on some of the the different uh, disposable stakes I've used pros and cons price comparison and all that so we'll keep on going see if we pull any other critters or any critters this morning don't get too far ahead of ourselves but hopefully we'll put a few in the truck to finish the year out well pulling these traps and I see I got schooled here man a sucker step here I mean three quarters of an inch away from the pan here here I missed him missed him I need I need one more to round me out at least put me in double digits that hurts well coming down to the last set coming down here to the railroad tracks where I caught the coyote, first coyote I caught on this property. I got a pretty old red sitting there waiting on me. Man, that is awesome. That is sweet. I'm taking it down to the wire. <clears throat> it's starting to rain. It's going to wind up being a, a good day to pull traps. And uh, man, any day I catch a pretty old red fox is a good day. No doubt. Well, it's definitely time to pull traps. Another stupid goose. Ugh. All right, so this weekend, this is the same place that I caught the snapper turtle by hand the other day. This weekend, when I was leaving, I just happened to see a snapping turtle, the, the biggest snapping turtle I ever seen. It may have been because of the water, but he was right out here and he was slinking down into the deep. He looked like he was twice the size of that turtle that I caught the other day. So I couldn't resist it. I had to put a line out. I put that, you can see I put that cotton bear trap out, see if I could get anything. But yesterday I put me a, <clears throat> a little old line out, baited line, and we got something. Let's see. Well, I say we got something. I can feel some tension on it. Ho, 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 ho. I think that's him, boys. Gosh, I'm mighty. That sucker is big. Holy mackerel. Do you see that turtle? Holy crap. That's the one I was wanting. I'm going to have to put this thing down and go get my other gloves to be able to get him. <laughs> was touch and go there for a minute. I had to ease up under that darn there's not a good place right there because of that barbed wire and the, the everything drops off but 
He's definitely bigger than the other one. That's the one I was wanting. So we're gonna have several things to skin this weekend. And I don't think he's happy. He's ready to come fight. One thing that I've learned about snapping turtles is if you don't have something to put them in, you better anchor them off some way. And that's actually, I've got a snare put around his neck so he can't get out. I can't tell you how many times, that's what, that's what gripes me when people start whining and belly aching about me picking a turtle up by the tail. Oh, that hurts their spine, that injures them. Man, I've caught probably eight or ten turtles at least that I pick them up by the tail, put them in the back of the truck, and then by the time I get home or get ready to do something with them, them rascals have climbed out of the truck somehow. Out of a, the bed of a full-size pickup truck. I even put one in a burlap sack one time, and he got out of the sack and out of the bed of the pickup truck. So their spine wasn't bothering them too much for me picking them up by the tail. They climb up the back of a pickup truck and get out. And the fall from the bed to the ground is probably going to be more detrimental than me picking him up by the tail anyway. So, But that's a good-sized turtle. I got him strapped in, so he ought to be along for the ride till we get home. Here I'm checking my last set of traps. Well, not my last set, but my last property's worth of traps. And I was just going to show y'all. I believe these are the wolf fang anchors that I've got set here. Um, just... That's about all I got. It's budging a little bit. But we got some pretty darn stout ground. It's slowly but surely coming. Okay, what pulling that up? It actually came up, but I mean, I ain't real hung up on spending that much energy, time, and effort trying to pull these things out of the ground. That's why I like disposables, um, you know, for trapping in this ground, just cut and run and not worry about it. Anyway, I was just gonna show y'all how that was. That's my my puller that I rigged up there, and you can see it's it's definitely bent from uh, stressing it and straining it. But anyhow, we got a handful more traps to check. Fingers crossed. Well, that's it for the 2017-2018 Georgia trapping season. Uh, I got all my traps pulled today. Got a huge giant mess of traps to sort out, clean up, and uh, make sure they're still in good working order. I'm gonna try to get that done here in the next month or so. Go ahead and go through them and uh, get them dipped, put up, and then I don't have to worry about it again. They'll be ready come uh, come season, so come next season. So uh, we'll see how well that goes. I'm gonna have to do something with them because my wife's gonna have a cow when she sees all my traps strode out everywhere because uh, it is a giant mess and doesn't get me excited about fooling with it. But anyway, uh, man, I had a had an awesome season. Um, I finished the day today. I had I had some more traps to check. I didn't pick up anything out of those traps, so a little bit disappointed. But man, I caught a, a real pretty gray fox, a red fox today. Uh, had a big snapping turtle that I was trying to catch. I weighed him. He weighed right at 30 pounds. The one that I caught the other day was 18 pounds. So he's a he was a, a hefty turtle. So I'm I'm uh, pretty pumped up about that. And there will be a video coming soon. I'm going to shoot it this weekend since I won't have any traps to check. Uh, shoot it this weekend. Um, and I, my plan is to keep at least a video a week coming out of uh, good, some valuable content, you know, as I get ready for next trapping season or, you know, think about things that are, are maybe, you know, helpful to people, new trappers or experienced trappers. Um, I also am working on adding to my course. So... I guess this is kind of like my store. I don't know if I've mentioned it or not, but I also have a Cody Trapping 101 course. Uh, it's an online course. It's four hours of video, um, some downloads, an ebook on marketing your fur, um, and that's uh, that's strictly for uh, yeah. I offer that for sale. It's it's really geared towards beginner trappers. And I think you know most of y'all that have followed along this season are maybe more experienced, but that's uh it it. It go, gets down to the basics, even so far as how to set a foothold trap. Um, but anyway, that walks you step by step from from what you need, how to pick locations out, 
uh, how to make it the your basic sets, a dirt hole and a flat set, what to do when you make a catch, and uh, you know what to do with your fur afterwards. Um, but I am gonna add some, gonna be adding some more modules and some more videos to that. So I'm gonna do uh, several different variations on the dirt hole set, and uh, I'm also gonna add a uh, a portion on trapping coons, um, a portion on trapping beavers and otters, and then uh, maybe a little bit on gray fox and and uh, bobcats as well. So. I'm going to be adding, adding some more to that, um, and so I'll try to keep everybody posted as I, I get that up and going, um, and I'll, I'll put a link to a link to that so you can go check that out. Um, like I said, I, it's real basic, and, and you know, if you've never set a trap a day in your life, but you want to learn how to trap, then that's, that's who it's geared towards. But anyway, uh, I had an awesome season. Uh, this is by far the most consistent I've ever trapped through the season. You know, I've, I've trapped every season since high school pretty much, except for a few years when I was in Florida because Florida's got some screwy trapping laws. Uh, and I still tinkered around a little bit I, I, uh, with fur anyway. I, I sniped some otters um, and messed around, so I still, I still kept my fur bug itched. But uh, this year, and I'll, I'll, at the end of the video, I'll, uh, I'll try to throw up some stats about my total catch and the day's trap, but this is hands down the most I've trapped in a season, basically uh, pretty close to two full months of the three month season. And uh, the most animals I've caught so far, um, it's, it's been a huge learning experience. I got to try out some new things and uh, definitely more to learn. That's, that's the one thing that I really like about trapping, I enjoy about trapping is there's always something to learn. And if, you, uh, if you're not of the mindset of, of willing and open to learn you know the people that think they know everything about it they're fooling themselves because um, you got animals that learn you know learn as you're after them and anyway had a great season and i, I really appreciate all y'all following along um that really made it for me um knowing that you know people were were following along were enjoying the videos um the comments were huge man I, you know seeing the views is okay you know i like i like knowing that people are watching but you know the comments every day i, I mentioned this in the comments last night when i was replying and i try to reply or at least thumbs up you know i try to look through all my comments every night when i'm getting ready to post a new video but that's what really made it for me it made me you know made me feel like there's you know i had i had y'all right there trapping with me and encouraging me and, and even knowing that you know the slow days where i wasn't catching anything or just catching a possum or something like that that yeah, y'all uh, appreciated and enjoyed seeing that. That was that definitely helped because those were the days that it's like, man, do I really want to post this? I caught a possum, you know, that, you know but but uh, that's trapping, you know, that's what it is. That's real life. I, nothing was sugarcoated through this whole thing. I uh, I took you on my line and and showed you what it was like. And uh, like I said, like I said the other day, I mean. It's definitely still a, a small amount of the total work that was involved in, you know, getting the traps prepared, checking all the empty traps that I checked, um, you know, doing, do in the first shed skinning and stuff, and uh, so there's a lot more to it. But uh, I hope I hope that it was valuable. Uh, I hope that it's something that y'all enjoyed, and I I uh, fully intend to be back after it again next year and hopefully have some some new ideas and some new things and some new things to try out and, and maybe even trap in a few new places I, i'd like to really try to get to some of the states at least at least get out of state uh somewhere that their season comes in earlier than ours does here in georgia and kind of extend my season a little bit and, and uh, trap some new country and learn some more stuff so anyway i'm going to get i got my red fox to skin and uh got to do something with all these traps at least get them unloaded but uh, like I said, from the bottom of my heart, man, I really appreciate y'all following along, and especially those of y'all that have left comments. Um, that's that's really made it exciting and, and made it uh, fun and kept me kept me kept me going because it's uh, you know like I said the other day, trapping some days is a grind in itself, and then you know get done in the first shed, and then I got to come and uh, you know put the video together. And that, the good thing about it is it wasn't much editing. You know, I I turned the camera on showed you what I showed you and turned it off and then that's what I just I just spliced all of them together and and uh, put put the video together and and so the editing didn't take long fortunately but it was still another thing to do but like I said the, the comments and the knowing that y'all were 
out there and, and uh, kind of living vicariously uh, along with me, that uh, that really helped. So I, I really appreciate that. I really enjoyed this season, man. It was it was a uh, it was a blast. And uh, like I said, I'm, I've got I'm gonna try to keep some videos rolling, trying to get some planned out now. So if you've got a request for a, a, a video to see. Um, let me know and I'll try to get that. I'm trying to plan out my video so that I've got I've got some consistency there But then I also I'm gonna try to um, you know when I'm running jugs and trot lines for catfish I'm gonna be filming that too and, and I throw some of that up there That's some of what I like to do in the off season to me. That's like a summertime trap line. So I really like that um, But anyway, uh, like I said, I, I really appreciate y'all following along and uh I look forward to, to keeping in touch, and uh, we'll be back at it again this time next year. So.